Hey, what's up guys? This is Jero Bear, and uh, today I wanted to talk about a solution to a problem that uh, I had been experiencing for the better half of a month. And uh, I, I wanted to make this video because I figured out the solution thanks to uh, the uh, Focusrite support. And uh, as I said, I wanted to make an explanation video for the solution to this problem. Uh, to explain the problem, basically what was going on was whenever I would use my Focusrite Scarlett 2i2, uh, my computer would crash. And I'll show an example of that here in a minute. But basically, um, I could not figure out how to uh, get it to where it wouldn't crash because whenever I would go to uh, select it as my input on any of my DAWs, it just would not work. Um, so I tried everything, would not work. Um, and I finally contacted, uh, I finally contacted the support, and I didn't get, I didn't receive an email, but when I finally, uh, got in touch with, uh, with the, uh, live chat, I got the, uh, answer I needed. And there were a few forums on this, but they weren't properly explained, which is the reason why I'm making this video. Uh, but before we go into that, uh, I do want to show you guys what's happening to me, so you can make comparisons as if this is the same thing happening to you. Uh, this is a problem you're going through. Okay, so now we're recording this with the uh, with my phone, and of course I can't record this with a computer, considering what's about to happen. Um, as you can see, here's my computer screen, and here's the focus right uh, clearly plugged in. As you can see here. Sorry, I'm not really good with the camera. This is why I'm not a, photo or a photographer or or doing a cinematography type stuff. That's why I'm an animator. Uh, basically, this is what would happen, and I would just go into... Just go here and do it. Uh, that's not very necessary. Alright, but uh, what, we, what we are gonna do is we're gonna go to Reaper. Okay, so this is my preferred DAW whenever I uh, record guitars. I have several different ones I use, um, which is a bit redundant, but whatever. Okay, so here's one instance. Uh, simply because the focus right is plugged in, uh, my computer crashed. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug it, which is this one right here. My computer is going to re restart. And once it does all that, or once I get signed back in, I'll start the video back. Okay, and uh, like I was saying before, I've already plugged in, or plugged, unplugged, Jesus Christ, if I could talk, um, the Scarlet. And you'll be able to see right here. That is not plugged in at all. Okay. So let's try turning Reaper on again. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine. I don't have a license for it, but they don't require one. Sue me. Let's go to preferences, uh, audio device. All right. So this is what's naturally set. Okay. So let's change that. None. No input device. Apply. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to plug it back in. I believe the reason why it was set up like that is because I had uh, already found the solution. So uh, I was using it again, of course. Waiting for it to turn on. I don't think it's plugged in all the way. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so as you can see, it's perfectly fine. But let's go back into preferences. Input device. Now watch, the second I click this, I get closer, the second I click the Scarlett 2i2 USB, it's going to crash. Ready? Hmm. 
Maybe I have to press apply first. Oh, yep, there it goes. Okay, so again, my computer's crashed. I'm not sure if you may be able to see me on this. Alright, so uh, that's basically the issue now for the solution. Okay, so now we're back on the uh, computer, and I've unplugged the focus rate for now. Uh, long enough for me to do this. So as I said before, the problem was that the uh, this, uh, the Scarlet 2i2 would make the computer crash. Now, the solution to this is explained in a few other forums, just not very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my finder. And I'm going to hold Command, Shift, G, all at the same time. And this will pop up. When this does, when it says go to the folder, you want to make sure that dash, no, not dash, uh, <laughs> fucking, I can't stand our symbols like this. Uh, you want it to look like this. I'll have it in the description exactly what you should type in. Um, so if you're too lazy to just look at the screen and type in, there you go. It'll be there. Uh, when you do that, a lot of files like this will uh, pop up. A bunch of KEXT files, which are extensions. So we're going to scroll all the way down. All the way. Until we get to the S's. Now, you should see, if you're having this problem, you should see a scarlet second gen .kext file. Um, if you're having this problem with some other Focusrite product, it may be labeled something different. Uh, just look for either Focusrite or Scarlet, whatever the hell it is. Anyways, this file has to go. This is what's causing all the problems. So what you're going to do to get to the trash can, and it's going to ask you to make changes. I'll come back once I've uh, put in my password. Okay. So as you can see, it's now in the trash, right here. What you're going to do is you're going to empty the trash. And let's do that just to make it feel a little bit more organized. Uh, but then it's done. You're done. All you have to do at this point is restart your computer. And once you restart your computer, everything will be perfectly fine. Uh, so again, I'll come back once I've restarted my computer. Okay, so basically now, um, what we've done is we've restarted the computer and we have plugged the focus right back into the, um, back into the computer itself. So we're gonna do a few checks just to make sure everything worked okay, even though I personally know um, everything is fine. Uh, go to system preferences, your sound, and right now I have my uh, microphone on because of course you're gonna need to hear me. Uh, but here in a second, I'm going to uh, switch over to where you can't hear me and where I select this right here, which is the beginning of the test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, turn it on on the mech itself, as well as making sure it works within uh, my preferred DAW, which is Reaper. Uh, and then you will see that everything is fixed. So I'll be right back. Hi, so this is a Jira from the future, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys that um, everything works perfectly fine. Uh, of course, I couldn't have my microphone on during this, but what I plan to do is I'm going to uh, just kind of walk through what I'm doing uh, because I can't talk. Okay, so here I am clicking the Scarlet 2i2 USB port, and of course uh, everything looks fine, still no uh, freezing up, which is really good. So what we're going to do next is we're going to open Reaper. Uh, but just to make sure that uh, everything's fine, I decide to close Reaper out entirely and just open it back up. So we're opening it right now. All right, so it's opening, no problems yet, no crashing. Uh, it's working perfectly fine. We go to the preferences and boom, there it is right there. Uh, still no freezing up, everything is working perfectly fine. And the final check, of course, I set up a track and then I make sure that I'm getting a feed from my guitar.
And as you can see in uh, both the bottom left hand and the top left hand, you can see there's definitely some feedback going on, um, which is my guitar. Uh, so it's working perf perfectly fine. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, everything worked and uh, we were lucky enough that we got this situation fixed. Uh, I hope this hasn't been too much of a hassle for you guys because I know it's been an absolute pain for me. Uh, I seriously considered taking my uh, Scarlet 2i2 back uh, because of this entire debacle. Um, but you know, now it's fixed, it's fine. But anyways guys, I hope I've been really helpful and uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you're here for this video, be, be sure to check out some more of my stuff if you like this and it helped you out. Anyways, see you later.